Hello, I'm Hannah Tindall. I've recently joined the RUL and Nordics team as head of DNO, moving over from our North America AGCS Financial Lines team. In the latest issue of Broker Beats, we're looking at how ESG topics, environmental, social, and governance are moving into the mainstream. Many areas of ESG are becoming more regulated, and the journey from voluntary regime for companies to required reporting is well underway. This changing landscape will influence how companies and funds invest as they consider whether a particular asset or sector fits within the taxonomy of ESG strategy, how they will report on it, and what shareholders and stakeholders will think. As investment decisions are increasingly influenced by ESG, so too will the role that insurance will play in this framework, particularly for risk management functions and the board of directors. Directors' duties in many jurisdictions are already undergoing scrutiny and this will only deepen given tightening regulatory frameworks. Questions and clarity about who is responsible for ESG topics, such as climate change, on the company board will not just be a matter of a nice to have, but essential if the duties of the directors are considered to be adequately fulfilled in the future. Such topics need to be right at the heart of company decision making. The directors and officers insurance market has already seen some significant challenges in recent years, particularly relating to increased claim frequency and severity. One of the reasons this has been a significant shift in this environment from traditional financial statement or reported relating litigation, such as bankruptcy or fraud, to so-called event-driven or bad news litigation, which can often result in significant securities or derivative claims from shareholders if the bad news causes a share price fall or regulatory investigation. Increasingly, such incidents can be layered with ESG concerns, and if not handled or disclosed appropriately by the company or board, it can result in bad news in their market, bad news for the company's share price, and bad news in the form of regulatory and legal action. On this basis, ESG issues can worsen or indeed create a significant DNO exposure for companies and their insurers. Legislation is evolving. Regulators are becoming more active, as are many other stakeholders. Companies and current and future DNO underwriters need to be aware of ongoing global ESG matters from activist investor campaigns to social justice protests or money laundering schemes in order to adequately assess potential perils and how they can manifest in terms of potential liability. There are a growing number of topics that board need to stay on top of where we already see examples of litigation, investor, shareholder, and activist actions in DNO claims. Areas to watch include climate change actions. Much of the litigation already seen has been around disclosure, companies and boards failing to adequately disclose the material risk of climate change. For example, there have been a number of recent lawsuits in the U.S. following wildfires where it is alleged that companies did not disclose the changes in the environment that were leading to more wildfire activity, and subsequently how this could negatively impact the business. Companies, boards of directors, have a vital duty to ensure solid corporate climate responsibility with appropriate reporting and due diligence. Over the past year, there has been an increase in board diversity litigation, with cases typically alleging there has been a failure in the fiduciary duties of directors given the inadequate level of diversity on the board or in management positions. Detailed studies from McKinsey and Company show that diversity in the boardroom and across a business brings better management of risk and improve financial performance. Ensuring that composition and diversity of the board is adequate enough to effectively manage risk is an issue that is only going to expand in terms of importance and governance in the future. Pollution and environmental disasters. In the aftermath of events such as a collapse of a dam or an oil spill impacting an ecologically sensitive area, boards and directors of impacted companies are increasingly being questioned about whether they had adequate risk management processes in place to prevent such incidents from occurring and how aware they were of the possibility of them happening. Greenwashing claims. Incidents of companies providing misleading information in order to present a more environmentally friendly and responsible public image have already been the subject of litigation in the U.S. and crackdowns by regulators are imminent. 
In the UK, the Financial Conduct Authority has developed a set of principles to tackle concerns over false claims. CEO pay is another hot topic, particularly for investors. Many funds are developing active stewardship of management compensation proposals in the companies they invest in amid concerns about opaque pay. At the same time, a growing number of companies are looking at linking CEO or director level remuneration to climate and ESG related targets such as greenhouse gas reduction. Cybersecurity is fast becoming one of the most important ESG related topics particularly in terms of sustainability of the business. Determining the cyber resilience status of a company is increasingly important for investors. While assessment of potential cyber exposure should be an essential part of any M&A process, given the number of large data breaches and the possibility that an acquiring firm could be liable for incidents predating the merger. Cybersecurity is a big governance topic for companies and the increasing focus on digitization and remote working following the COVID-19 pandemic means this topic will only become more important. Other areas of focus increasingly on ESG radar include the impact of new supply chain legislation around aiding and abetting violation of child labor law and water management and biodiversity degradation strategies as misuse comes under increasing scrutiny. For many companies, the pandemic has proven to be a huge learning curve with the board having to be at the center of the company's crisis management response. One positive change to emerge is a recognition of the increasing need to monitor, manage, and report on a wider range of potential risks than before, including non-financial topics, which could result in many companies being better positioned for the advent of new disclosure regimes around ESG risks. What we have learned from our ESG experience at Allianz is that a strong commitment at the management and board level is needed to make real impact. Within Allianz, we have our own ESG board so that all of the important group centers are really committed to sustainability and the ESG topic, including the setting of specific targets from top management down. Then it is about translating this into execution. ESG risk topics should be integrated into enterprise risk management and all relevant operational processes. What we are seeing in many of the industry sectors of our client community, and in particular the power and utility sector, which is heavily challenged by the transition of its own business model into a more green energy related power supplier, is that ESG and sustainability is having a high impact on virtually all functions within the company. Company and their boards can benefit from conducting internal due diligence around their decision-making processes and determining any potential risk areas. For example, the prospect of climate change litigation risk increases the more there is a discrepancy between what a company does and says internally and what it does and says externally. Even further to the extent to which any public statements or actions of a company might contravene a legally binding framework. Engaging in ESG subject matters is crucial. It is important that ESG is not only on the board agenda a few times per year, but that a company embeds sustainability topics and the thinking into the whole organization. Beyond internal steering, it is also crucial for the board to acquire appropriate skills and understand the external requirements in order to be successful in the long term. Elevating and identifying ESG risks through a business's risk registers and committees and making sure it is understood how they will play out in and out of the boardroom is crucial. Disclosure is not just about the various regimes coming in and around the world, but also about how you disclose to the wider community, employees, stakeholders, and the media. The latter in particular can have a devastating impact on reputation. ESG is not just about governance issues. From an insurer's perspective, there are also opportunities, such as helping organizations to improve their ESG capabilities. Given Allianz's own initiatives and experience in observing ESG best practices across many different industry sectors, we're helping to share that knowledge. At the same time, ESG information can also help to improve the underwriting process to the benefit of the insurers and their customers. 
Ultimately, ESG is a topic we should all care about personally and professionally. It is key that the insurance sector does not get left behind as an investment and asset management operators refine their focus on this aspect. Thanks to the investment that Allianz has committed to ESG, we are proudly embedding ESG into our day-to-day -day underwriting decisions.